Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's good to be here once again. Yes, sir. Um, my name is uh, Bro Nathan Okichuku. I base in US Atlanta and um, I joined the church in 2003 to 2004. Um, I don't, I'm just here to testify the goodness of the God of choosing. He's been very kind, very grateful, and um, he has done a lot of stuff to me that, I mean, more than what I was expecting. Hmm. But um, they said I should just say one or two. They don't want me to say everything, so I just have to make it brief. Actually, my first testimony was on about the um, COVID stuff. On 2020, January precisely, um, my chest was just paining me. I couldn't breathe. And I was just coughing. I was coughing. I couldn't breathe. Then in US, we don't know. Um, they've not announced this something that has to do with the COVID. Um, so every, some people are even dying because there's nothing like COVID. We don't know the name yet. So I was just, my heart, I couldn't breathe. I would just be using my hand to hit my chest every time I would be hitting my chest and coughing and coughing and coughing. I don't know what's going on. I took all kinds of medication, ginger, lemon, everything. Still, something was even getting worse. So I said, okay, let me start listening to Gio um, on TV. So I would watch Gio, I would pray, I would pray myself, I would wake up, I would pray, I would watch Gio on YouTube. Then one day, Gio just mentioned the case and said, every cough, every chest pain, this and that, I cancel it in Jesus' name. So that was how the whole thing just stopped. Power! And, um, hey, hey, hey! Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. And Thank before then, you know, we don't know what is COVID yet. It was on March. They now, on the news, CNN, they now saw what they says, Corona. And we are asking their words, how does it do? They said, you couldn't breathe, you'd be coughing and all of that. So, and my, I already got the COVID and the Jew just mentioned my case even without the COVID and um, that was how I was in. Thank you, Lord. Father. Clap unto God again. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. And my other testimony is, um, um, I mean, I'm, I'm into transportation business. So, some group of guys they called me they say they are going to somewhere uh, they are going to somewhere actually the, the day they actually called me was um during the the debate between uh, donald trump and the uh, hillary that same day so i went there i picked them up i picked one of the guys up and then the next thing he brought a gun and said he wants to rob me then i looked at my back said what do you mean you want to rob me he said um, yeah i should give him this give him that. i said i'm a choosing so what are you talking about i said because i am a choosing he said, what do you mean by that? I said, I am a choosing. Then he just stopped the car and just ran away. Power! <laughs> Where is the God of my pastor power? The God of my pastor power. Where is the God of my pastor power? Deliver me today, today. Where is the God of my pastor power? Where is the God of... Where is the God of my pastor power? Deliver me today. Deliver me. God of pastor. Amen. She's in praise the Lord. You mean they opened the car themselves and ran away? They ran away and um, within some days the police called me because I actually I have to call the police and then. Um, they took the fingerprint and all of that and they, they called me at the police station and um, they, uh, they gave me some pictures, like 10 of the pictures. They look alike, but they said if I can, if I can you know, know the, whoever that uh, did that. I said, okay, this is the guy. They said, are you sure? I said, yes. So after some days, they now called me. They said they've arrested him. He's in jail. Hmm. He, has to, he has to serve 30 years or so. So I just left. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank so, you. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, God of choosing has been very, very grateful to me. And um, I mean, I mean, I, a lot of testimonies, but because of time, I just have to be brief. Um, the other one that happened was actually, I was coming to Nigeria. That was 2019. I have um, this thing they call, um, um, it's called a uh, taser, but they actually call it stun gun. So I'm supposed to put it in my checking in luggage. But I put it in my carry-on um, carry luggage. 
So I went to New Jersey because from Atlanta, I have to go to New Jersey, from New Jersey to Nigeria. So they now searched my bag and they now saw it and then I got arrested. So they took me to jail and all of that saying, I don't have to travel anymore, blah, blah, blah. You know, start saying all kind of stuff. So I prayed and prayed and prayed. Before you know, they called me and then they said, okay, I should travel to my country. But if I come back, I have to come to court. I have to, if I didn't, if I didn't come my court date on the, on the court, I have to go to jail, you know. So I traveled to Nigeria and then I was here. They are sending me all kinds of letters. So I told my, the guy living with me to open the letter. He said they want me to report in, in court in New Jersey, you know. Then I prayed about it. I told my pastors um, uh, where I reside in Oweri, if we prayed about it. But before going back to the U.S., I came here and the pastor mentioned that case. <laughs> then I'm like, okay. So when I traveled back, I went to New Jersey. I was kind of a little bit scared that maybe I'm going to get arrested or something like that. But getting there, I wasn't arrested. So from New Jersey, I went to Atlanta. On getting to Atlanta, I opened my mailbox. A lot of mails, you know, a lot of some different lawyers calling me. They will defend me. They will do this. They will do that. Then I opened one particular one. And what I saw was that, Nathan, your case is canceled. You don't what? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Cannot miss the target, the mark. Thank you, Father. So at this point, I just want to thank the God of choosing. Um, God has been so kind and um, I want to thank God for the man of God, our G.O. May the God of, may the God of Jesus who have called him, give him the power, the anointing to carry on this work in Jesus name. Amen. I cover him, I cover the family, I cover our mommy in the Lord, the grandchildren, everyone with the blood of Jesus. Amen. And I cover all the Jesus member worldwide with the blood of Jesus and I Amen. wish you all heaven at last in Jesus name. Amen. And, um, one thing again, sorry, before I go, um, there's this COVID shot they are giving us before we come back. I don't really know what's inside. We are hearing a lot of, hearing a lot of rumors, but I pray whatever they put in that um, vaccine or whatever they call it, after today's message, that thing will be vanishing. Jesus' name. Bye-bye. <laughs> Full upon to God and I appreciate him.